And it's Michael Atherton and Nasser Hussein. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi there, good morning. Yep, Scotland in action, as you said, against New Zealand today, who potentially could be England's opponents in the semi-final up in Abu Dhabi if things pan out. But let's turn our attentions to Scotland. Nash, you watched them in action against Namibia. They had an excellent qualification stage where they were unbeaten, but it's been more difficult in the Super 12 since. It sure has, and the problem for them, two games that they may have earmarked as victories or possible victories. Afghanistan first up, they were blown away, they were bowled out for 60. They then turn up to Namibia, who they were, play a lot of cricket against, hope to beat them, and they are two for three in the first two overs, and they never recovered from that. So they're not from two in the group, and they've got New Zealand, India, and Pakistan left. So it's going to be a tough ask for them. But the two sides tonight, Afghanistan and India, will be watching this closely, hoping that Scotland have an upset. Scotland are a pretty good side, aren't they? I know they've had their struggles, and as you say, they've got these three games that they might approach with some trepidation, but it's also an opportunity to show people what a good side they are. Absolutely, and as you said, before we got into Super 12 cricket, they were the form side. They were playing brilliantly, and they were getting performances from throughout their squad. The one good thing for them, from what we know, we haven't done the toss yet, but we think Kyle Kurtz is back. Their influential captain is a very good captain and he's a very good player. And that collapse that they keep having, whether it be Afghanistan or Namibia, should hopefully be all um, stopped. But New Zealand are a fine side. Well, let's turn our attention to tonight's game. Very important game, India-Afghanistan. You tipped up India before the tournament, which shows <laughs> how much you know what's going on with them. <laughs> I mean, sorry for tipping up India, the mighty India. Well, they've struggled. They've lost to New Zealand here. They lost convincingly to Pakistan a few days ago. Whatever happens tonight, Afghanistan will win the toss and bat, and India will win one to chase so I think Afghanistan could turn over India you know Afghanistan are playing such good cricket and then Afghanistan might become England's opponents in the semi-final so it is getting down to that stage now where every result is absolutely vital. You mentioned England who are obviously going great guns Josh Butler in fantastic form are they the best team that you've seen so far and if not who do you think can stop them? You've thrown me under the bus with India earlier, so I can't give any predictions, but Pakistan have been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Barbara Azam and Mohamed Rizwan at the top of the order have been phenomenal. And with England, Josh Butler, and as a team, actually, they've been absolutely fantastic. They have been the best two sides so far in the tournament, Pakistan and England. OK, we've got to cut this short, because I've got to go and do the toss. NASA can go for a lie down. We're on the Cricket Channel 9.30.